ट्रांजिस्टर ओ टी ए वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ फाइव ट्रांजिस्टर ओ टी ए नाउ आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू इम्प्रूव द गेन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल जस्ट गो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द गेन जस्ट अ ब्रीफ ऑफ दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट वील सी दैट वट आर द टिक्स वी कैन इम्प्रूव इट्स गेन बिकॉज इन इंटरव्यूज इट इज आस्ट दैट वट आर द पॉसिबल वेज दैट यू कैन इंक्रीज द गेन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर थिंग एंड वट आर दिसएडवाटेजेज ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द गेन बिकॉज इन एनालॉग डिजाइन नथिंग कम्स फॉर फ्री इफ यू आर इंक्रीजिंग गेन बाय सम डिजाइन पैरामीटर वेरिएशंस यू विल सी दैट देर आर सम अदर लिमिटेशंस देयर सो वी विल सी दिस थिंग वन बाय वन जस्ट फॉर गो दिस स्ट्रक्चर दिस वाज माय जीएम ब्लॉक एंड आई वाज इंटीग्रेटिंग इट द करंट कमिंग आउट इंटीग्रेटेड अक्रॉस द कैपेसिटर ओके सो दिस वाज माय वी आउट v1 v2 and this is current ic so on transistor level this is nothing but a five transistor oda okay so i think all of us knows the uh, how to calculate its gain but uh, i'll go through the basics so this is diode connected device m1 m2 m3 and m4 this is obviously m0 okay so we have to calculate the gain this is v1 this is v2 so one thing is that we are we know that uh, the current is coming out there which is ic in general we are saying suppose ic is what gm The GM of the transistor uh, input pair, or we will see that what is the GM of this complete structure. But as of now, there is some GM of this block multiplied with uh, some R out. If if I am thinking that uh, what is the gain, if I multiply this G or oh, sorry GM P1 minus V2, this is my current which is coming out of this block. And if we multiply this current, if we allow this current to flow across some R load. then we can say that we are getting some voltage so i told that we will not consider the capacitor now we will consider in the frequency analysis but if we want to calculate the gain just i am talking about the dc gain so there no capacitor is there but if this current is flowing across some load then my v out will be there which is nothing but this gm times the difference voltage and r out okay so this difference voltage v1 minus v2 can be uh, said as vd so my v out is nothing but gm into r load times this vd so what is the gain we will see that now gain is coming what gain is coming as gm r load so what is r load here i am considering no external load just i am considering the drain to source uh, resistances of these transistors so i can also write it as gm r out so how to calculate the gm of this structure we know that uh, for short circuit transconductance we can calculate like this i am just telling the way to calculate the gm of this structure rest uh, many of you may know but yeah this is the basic so i will tell <coughs> for gm we will short the output and i will say this is isc short circuit current is vdd and if we uh, consider some difference voltage let v1 is my what v dy2 or we can say v2 is what minus v dy2 okay so these are the voltages now if there is some uh, difference voltage then what will be the current generated across this transistor we know that gm of this vgs okay so current here is what gm into v1 let's say v1 i have not considered the difference voltage right now so this current will flow across it m3 and this will be copied here so what is the current here gm v1 and what is the current here is a gm v2 i am considering here gm1 equal to gm2 equal to gm okay the gm of input pair is same so with this way we, i can see the what is the isc my isc is 
gm v1 current coming uh, from top minus gm2 v2 so we can write here take gm common let gm2 and gm1 are same so let take gm1 common gm v1 minus v2 so it is nothing but gm vd from here we can see we can see isc is what gm v1 minus v2 so this is current going out and this is the difference voltage and this is my equal to gm of 1 comma 2 is equal to overall gm so overall gm of any structure the gm of any structure is what the difference voltage and this uh, short circuit transconductance at this gm is short circuit we calculate like this if gm is this, this current this is called say isc so isc is equal to what gm vd so i can say the the way of calculation of gm is and you got short the output and you calculate the short uh, output short circuit current in terms of difference voltage that is your gm so gm for this structure is coming in nothing but gm of input pairs okay so this is the one thing i'll not go for the calculation of r out everyone knows but yeah if you want to go you can go through the threshold uh, sorry uh, through a thevenin equivalent like you just uh, short the input uh, voltages and apply some test voltage at the output of the structure you can calculate this also let us see so we know that for calculating output impedance i can short the inputs okay so this uh, here we can apply some test voltage v test or this is my i test so I know that there are two ways to flow it. This is nothing but this way, one is this way. So this I test is going through two paths. One is I2 and plus one is I4. So what is this? This uh, this gives me what? This V test by RDS2 plus V test by rds4 from here we can say that b test by i test equal to rds2 parallel rds4 so this is my output impedance i can say it as output impedance structure is what rds2 parallel rds4 okay so now we have both the things gm and r out so for any block if this is the block and this is the input v in and this is the output if we know the two parameters of this block one is gm and second is r out then i can say directly v in sorry v out by v in which is gain equal to gm r out and gm is what gm of input pair and r out and r out we know gm12 r out is rds2 parallel rds4 okay so this is the basic thing that we know the what is the gain now i'll write the expression for the gain obviously it is a dc gain i am not introducing frequency here so it is a dc gain which is equal to gm of 1 comma 2 cross rds2 parallel rds4 now this is the dc gain of this structure <coughs> which is i can say v out by v d or which we can say v out by difference voltage v in minus sorry uh, i can say v in 1 minus v in 2 which i am also saying as v out by v1 minus v2 okay so this is the gain now point comes how to improve the gain because this is my main point it is asked in interviews also improve the gain and what are the limitations while we are improving the gain improve the gain so i know that in the expression of gain gm are out for any particular block so if we can improve it either improve it or improve it 
or improve both if gm is increased then gain will increase if r out is increased then gain will increase now what is the gm for this particular structure my gm is nothing but gm of input pairs so for any particular transistor what is gm gm is nothing but 2 id by overdrive voltage so id is constant here i know that what we are giving here this is my 2i not and i not is flowing this branch i not is flowing this branch in dc conditions so we can say that this id is constant if we reduce this v overdrive my gm will increase so we can see from the expression of current if we are reducing the overdrive then what are the parameters we have to change in design so we know that id is what mu n cox by 2 W I L V overdrive whole square. I am not considering here the effect of EDS. So if I am uh, reducing this uh, means uh, overdrive voltage to increase the GM, then what we have to change? We have to increase this W I L ratio. So if W is increased, I can say I can have the relax in V overdrive to maintain the current constant. To maintain the current constant. it means we can say if w is increased but what is the limitation now if w is increased overdrive is reduced so gm is increased now point is that we cannot go much beyond it because the overdrive less uh, lower the overdrive will create a problem which is nothing but overdrive what vgs minus vth so if your overdrive is reducing it means your vgs is going nearly close to the vth so we may fall into sub threshold region so we may fall into sub threshold region okay so this is again the problem in general for the design in general for the design we consider gm by id ratio if 10 which is nothing but 2 by v overdrive from here we will get the v overdrive equal to 200 millivolt and more we can consider gm by id in some designs people consider till this value or we can go till 50 also but it is not required so this will give me what v overdrive of 100 millivolt we are not expected to go much lesser than this usually in design we keep this gm by id of 20 so this is the limitation that we cannot go much beyond uh, the much lower value of v overdrive okay otherwise what is the problem we will uh, we forced uh, to sub threshold region but in some designs in some designs where in some designs in some designs sub threshold is also acceptable sub threshold is also acceptable means if there is a voltage limitation if there is a voltage limitation we may go into for up threshold then i can say some uh, lower uh, uh, overdrive is also accepted 50 millivolt and all but there are limitations gm cannot be increased much gm can't be increased much and other uh, what is the other way to improve the gm other way of improving the gm is that if there is some box it is giving me the gm then what i can give if i attach a gain block here a then i can say overall gm will be what overall gm will be the v out v1 v2 so overall gm of this structure is you can prove this thing overall gm is gm cross a so on transistor level we can see this from five transistor ota if we if we connect if from five transistor ota we connect some gain block some connect some gain block let's see common source amplifier this is my pmos common source amplifier if we connect some common source amplifier then i can say that this is providing me gm which is nothing but gm of input pair and it is providing me the gain which is nothing but gm of this transistor let's say it is a my uh, uh, m over 0 to 4 m5 let's say m5 so gm of 5 into rds of 5 
सो ओवरऑल द जी एम इज वॉट जी एम ऑफ वन टू क्रॉस जी एम ऑफ फाइव क्रॉस आर डी एस ऑफ फाइव सो दिस वे आई कैन से द ओवरऑल गेन कैन बी ओवरऑल जी एम कैन बी इंप्रूव नाउ दिस इज द वे इफ यू आर अटैचिंग गेन स्टेज टू द जी एम ब्लॉक देन द जी एम कैन बी इंप्रूव एंड नाउ द फाइनल थिंग्स कम्स आर आउट इंप्रूवमेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंप्रूव द आर आउट आर आउट इंप्रूवमेंट देर आर वेरियस वेज टू इंप्रूव द आर आउट बट आई विल नॉट कवर दीज वेज इन दिस वीडियो अदर वीडियो लेंथ विल बी लॉट लेंथ दी ओके सो आर आउट वेज आर समथिंग लेट सी आई शुड इंट्रोड्यूस समथिंग इफ आर आउट इज वॉट वी ए वाई आई डी वट इज द वी ए वी एज माई अर्ली वोल्टेज आई कैन ऑल्सो सेट एज वन अपॉन लेमडा आई डी सो लेमडा इज वॉट लेमडा इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रांजिस्टर so if we increase the length lambda can be reduced or near to zero then my r out will be very much large r out equal to rds will be large but the point is that okay i'll say here rds also point is here that the limitation on length limitations on length we cannot increase as much the point is that here we see that area problem will be there and other problems will also be there so now to improve the gain how to improve the gm or how to improve the r out that is a factor so for the improvement of r out we will see in the next coming videos we will use some structure that usually we know that the cascode structure and with using the cascode we can increase the r out and we can increase the gm by adding the some gain stage second gain stage after this five transistor uta so uh, in this video this is enough for uh, as of now but in coming video i'll cover these things okay thanks